All right, this is Joel Green Studios. This is part three. Um, I've gotten it bolted down. One thing that I would like to point out that, um, sorry for the, the lighting is, is pretty bad, but um, the bolts that came with it, once you add the, the board, uh, the quarter inch board and, and go to bolt it down, I realized that they were way too short. So I just went to my local hardware store, Ace, and got some longer stainless steel screws and it worked just fine. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So we talked about the door. Kegs in there, we got the regulator in there plus the uh, CO2. And let's take a look. Yeah. Not really good view of it, sorry folks, but you can see the screws in the back or the bolts in the back, everything looks good. So we're just uh, cooling this down. I put this in about 15 minutes ago. It's not going to be overly cold, but let's just take a look and see if I can do this one-handed. I'll use my urine specimen jar. Let's see how we go here. This is harder than I thought. got a nice sound to it. It's got a nice little head on it. Let's take a look here. Let's take a taste. Definitely could be colder, but it tastes really good. The hint of chocolate is definitely there. And uh, the carbonation could be a little bit better. But that comes with time. So let's just give it some time and see what happens. So there it is. Um, if there's any, Let me think if there's anything else. So the screws needed to be a little bit longer. Uh, other than that, I, we, we talked about, I put some more foam in here to keep those lines nice and cold. Oh, one thing other people have also done is they've purchased a 120 millimeter, I think is this um, um, computer fan. And you can put a computer fan in there in order to get everything to really kind of circulate that cold air all around your lines. I am thinking about doing that. I haven't committed yet. Um, I'm going to do some more research and learn how to hook that computer fan up to an electrical source in there. Safe. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. Looks pretty good. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me. Or uh, I am me, and uh, I will sure to get back to you as soon as possible with any questions about this uh, kegerator build. Yeah, thanks a lot. And um, the next time you'll see this, I'll probably be making new wooden handles for the top so that uh, that adds a little Joel Green Studios flair. Thanks for watching.